Hey everybody, it's Zach from Domestic Automotive Authority, and today I wanted to give you another video, uh, more of an insight look uh, from the Jeep community and Jeep sales to give you an idea of what we're thinking on the new 2021 Bronco. So I've had quite a few customers ask me, you know, what do I think the impact's going to be from the new Bronco coming out? If I think it's going to pull pull sales away from me personally or for the entire company, uh, as well as what I think from the Jeep community, uh, you know what people are gonna think, what people are gonna do, if people will be trading the Wranglers in for these Broncos. And to cut right down to the chase, uh, I think they're completely different vehicles. So they do they do share similar features, you know, open air capabilities, uh, off-road oriented, um, but whenever it really comes down to it, they're two different vehicles. So just like the FJ was in the past, uh, certain Hummers were in the past, uh, there's been a lot of competitors for Jeeps, uh, even Broncos, the K5 Blazers, everything. Uh, but if you look back in history, none of them are still here. Uh, they've went through spurts. They've came in, came out. Hummer went away. FJs went away. Um, it seems like everything that comes up to rival the Wrangler eventually goes away. Now, I'm not saying they don't pull sales away from Jeep, but it's never enough to keep them above water. So my honest opinion from the sales side of this is that people that are loyal to the Wranglers are going to remain loyal to Wranglers. Uh, the Jeep community is a tight-knit community and they are very loyal. Uh, I think definitely one of the most loyal brands that you can come across now. And for Ford to come out with this new Bronco, I think they tackled it very well. Uh, they hit all the hot buttons of what people are looking for, but whenever it comes down to it, it's not just gonna be loyalty. Of course, you've got Toyota 4Runners that fall in this area too. And I think they will pull sales away from 4Runners because it gives you a more adventurous vehicle you know maybe it can adapt to more lifestyles than what the forerunner can even do because me personally of course i drive wranglers but uh if i was in the market for a forerunner i would definitely go with the new bronco over the forerunner just for the open air capabilities um but like the differences you know solid axles in the front uh it's a big no-go for me uh, if I'm going to have an off-road oriented vehicle, I want it to have solid axles front and rear. Now they have uh, electronically engaged lockers, just like we do on our Rubicon models. Uh, now their four wheel drive isn't a manual four wheel drive. It's actually push button. They still have the neutral select, which is cool. Uh, they have a lot of great things going on with them. But personally from the Jeep community, I think they're just going to give us the opportunity to make a few more memes, uh, give us something to laugh about. Uh, but I am pretty excited to see what kind of competitive nature Jeep's gonna pick up from it to see if they are gonna change some of the prices, maybe give us some rebates on a Wrangler. Uh, as everyone knows, we don't get rebates on a Wrangler very often at all, but maybe this will be enough of competition, maybe to see some, uh, some price changes, not from MSRP, but just incentives, which would be awesome. Um, but I don't think it's really anything Jeep's worried about. Uh, of course, we're gonna launch a couple different things to compete with the creature comforts that uh, the Broncos have introduced but really and truly it's it's a different vehicle and i think people will understand that once they do hit the ground but i'm not saying it's not anything cool uh compared to a forerunner it's badass it is but whenever people try to compare it to a wrangler it is a different vehicle um of course they do have open air capabilities but that's not all that makes a wrangler a wrangler um and i think it will take a few sales away now i'm not saying that people are going to go trade in their new wranglers for it, their new jl's uh, but for the soccer moms that just drive a Jeep because they want a Jeep, for the old guys that come in for a midlife crisis that aren't really using the, uh, the Jeep to its full capabilities, sure, I think that they might get some of those customers. Um, but those customers, that's something you have to realize. Uh, customers like that aren't the loyal customers, so they're not the ones that are going to stick with it and come back and buy multiple, multiple other ones from you. You know, They're actually the ones that just go with the trends. So if something cooler comes up, midlife crisis you go out and get the cooler one that's how it goes and newer is cooler to a lot of people uh but for the loyalists they'll still be here we're still going to sell way way more jeeps than what the broncos are going to sell i'm sure of that but uh i think the bronco will be up for a test of time to see how long it'll really last um i think you know guaranteed a good four or five years but past that point i don't see uh what the bronco can really do unless it changes with its customer base and as it changes with its customer base, it's gonna be more and more like a forerunner away from a Jeep. And I think everybody will see that in the near future, but it's definitely something cool. I'm not knocking them. Uh, I'd love to have one sitting next to my Wrangler, but I'm certainly not gonna trade in my Wrangler to have one. Uh, 
hopefully, you know, the aftermarket support will be good for these. I'd love to see some of them jacked up, see what they can really do, and then see the off-road capabilities firsthand, you know, see how they match up. But uh, I just don't think it's gonna be that cool. It's just my opinion, everybody wanted to know. So here's my honest opinion. And like I said before, there will be a lot of cool memes about these. Uh, they're gonna be really funny. So stay tuned for that. But if you got any comments, any suggestions, please let me know. Tell me what you think about the new Bronco. If you think it's gonna take Jeep out of the game, uh, fill me in, tell me how. But uh, from my side of the story, I don't see much of anything changing and uh, anytime in the near future. But if I'm wrong, this video will be here to prove us. Um, we'll see. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already subscribed, uh, let me know what you want to see. I'm here to make videos. I've got time in between appointments all the time. So leave me some comments, some, some suggestions. Tell me what you want to see, and I'd be more than happy to put it on for you. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.